Ron Firo here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make these, or variants of. So what are all these? Obviously, they're pillars, and so we got a basic two by two pillar, one with sharp spikes, shorter one, a circular one, a big circular one, smaller one, and then mixed variants. The other thing they all have in common is they're all 2x2. Two two. So, how do you go about constructing them? Right, this is obviously just a square. 2x2 two two with the voxels. Everything else, you've got a shape. But it's really easy. So, say we start with a voxel. Now, to shape it, you need to move this corner that's attached to the orange one here. And you do that by placing blocks there. So take a anti voxel string, but any strings will do, or just any shape as long as it's full size. And if we just paste that where the orange one is, it stretches out. Now, because these haven't changed, we can just then just copy it out, rotate it round, and and there's a nice easy pillar. Okay, say we don't want that shape. Want something a bit less of a point, so we just copy a bigger piece, copy it over the end here again, shrinks it down, and again just a matter of then pasting it out. Say you don't want it sticking out a bit. So you want something smaller, so you start with something smaller. Start with your strings, say that one. And obviously that can't be just extended and then rotate around because it doesn't fit. So you just got to make it fit on the sides by pasting blocks. nice circular-ish. So it's still a bit square there, but it just depends where you move the corners. So circular so probably want these in a bit more, so we just try with a smaller one. Again, just paste the edges to match. See now, okay, that's actually should have been the other way out, should have been farther out <laughs> for a circular one. But yeah, it's just a matter of experimenting with the shapes, 
different size pieces. So that's just a few of you there to try on that. So why don't you want to make it bigger? Right, so we'll keep the same center of it. And I've got these offset bits. But you can just use any mega voxel. And if you just paste that where the orange ones are. Around, yep. Gives you a bigger pillar. Obviously, you probably want a bigger center. <laughs> so, this is making a big diamond. slightly concave but in general don't worry about the floor obviously <laughs> uh, let's start with this one is the quarter voxel. Which is orientated wrong, but I'll just paste on a different side. So just take an offset. See, most of these pieces are available or will be available on boards. Just pick up what you need and experiment. Uh, <coughs> the last ones are just some of these other shapes with some of the different ones pasted over the top of them. You can make nice effects, up to you. Okay, bonus bit since I've had a few requests for it. How do you make a pillar cutter? So, you start off for a 2x2 by, uh, two by two pillar, you want a 3x3 three three bit to start with. Pull it off the ground and heal it. And then put some handles on. Just so you line it up. And now you delete the outer edge because you want to keep the pillar area away from your markers and then just pick any pillar you want to copy paste it above and below and there's your cutter and template that out and to work it just create a 3x3 three three, whatever material you want line up your markers on the corner and run up you will need paste with air on like all the cutters to use these really quick and simple to make and there you go your pillar cut out okay hope this is helpful any questions let me know